the next big move will be blank. What say you, Marcus? Derek Carr traded. Ooh. Uh, I think I think there's a legitimate market for Derek Carr. I know that the Raiders still really like him, but if a team like Washington or Chicago that are looking for a competent quarterback, I could see Derek Carr being moved for a first round pick plus something else. I think the Raiders have gotten as far as they can get with Derek Carr. Again, I think he's really, really good. But I think John Gruden wants to upgrade that position. I think he wants a star, whether that's Deshaun Watson, whether that's going out and trying to get somebody in the draft. I think they want to go in a different direction. So I do think Derek Carr, at least we're going to get some 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 nuggets of information, uh, some trade rumors over the next couple of weeks. I think he's going to be a hot commodity in the trade market. I, I It's a good one. I think it could be Sam Darnold. I okay. I think his market is going to change pretty fast with this. And I think if you're the Colts um, and you're sitting at the end of round one, I think the Jets, the Jets are in a unique position where if they get an offer that they like, they probably have to pounce. And you do that without like a parachute, right? Because you don't yeah. have your quarterback in the yeah. future yet. But to me, the, the, the further down we go, if you can qu- acquire an early second, maybe a late first, I do think the Stafford market is going to inject some movement into this. I would not be surprised if that is the case. We've seen Douglas with Jamal Adams kind of make that bold move. And this would be timing wise, very interesting. It would certainly help your mock drafts. I would imagine Marcus in terms of solving things or maybe the Watson situation, which is our next one. Deshaun Watson is now worth blank. Five first round picks. Wow. I really, I really think he is. I mean, you get a stud quarterback who has just been fantastic his entire career who is still incredibly young uh, in a league where there's only five, six, seven elite quarterbacks. Yeah. I think he's worth four to five first round picks. And I think ultimately they're going to get that, whether it's four first round picks and a first round caliber player, I think five first rounders is what it's ultimately going to take for the Texans to get rid of them because we've seen Adam over the last week, they're not even entertaining offers right now. We know that teams, you know, more than half the league is called, they're not even thinking about trading him yet. So they're going to have to be absolutely blown away. I think five first round picks when it's all said and done is what, what it takes to get Watson out of Houston. It, and I was going to say is now worth almost so much that it becomes uh, it, it's optionability. You're, you're losing it, right? It's, it becomes detrimental. It, it, to the it, rest it of becomes it, the whole thing becomes yeah. unsolvable, which is actually terrible news for Deshaun Watson. Uh, his value is so high. The Texans are dug in unless he threatens to sit out and he might, this is a really tough spot for him. Now, granted, he's getting paid like 25 million a year. So it's not that tough, but I think it's even more than that. It's almost 40. Well, well oh years. gosh. Yeah. Who's counting? All right. Yeah. So, so I think at this point though, his value, it's a 25 year old franchise quarterback who could be the star of your team for the next like 10 to 15 years. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the, I think we've reached a point where it becomes almost uncomfortable and then it, and it becomes so difficult that unless it gets too bad, it, it may not even be fathomable for even a team like the Jets who could have three first round picks this year. Uh, if you have to dig in much beyond that, you probably will. It may not be worth it. Can, can I, this is a weird theory. You tell me if I'm, if I'm off from my rocker here. If Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs win a Super Bowl, does that drive up Deshaun Watson's value? Because now yes. it's back-to-back Super Bowls for the Chiefs and you have no shot of competing against Kansas City unless you have an uber elite quarterback. Some reason I do think it's going to prove his value if Kansas City finds a way to win on Sunday. I, I agree, and I just think you're seeing how important the position is. I mean that it, it it just reinforces kind of what we already knew, which is if you don't have it, you're screwed, and that's why you have to pay a boatload. What it is? This yeah. is our this is a a Dan Campbell sequel this week, which is Philly Media Will Blank, uh, Nick Sirianni, the uh, football smart. Got to be football smart. We got to be football. That was painful, man. I, now, get, granted, brand, breaking kneecaps and eating kneecaps, really bad for Detroit. I don't think Eagles fans uh, liked that opening presser from their new head coach. What say you? I think the Eagles media and the fans are going to love Nick Sirianni. I'm, I'm on a different side here. I know <laughs> the, first, I, the first press conference was bad. Um, and again, I'm going to be completely transparent here. I am extremely biased when it comes to Nick Sirianni. He is actually a friend of the family, so I oh, know him pretty well. I'm sorry. So again, so, uh, no, no, it's all right. So listen, he had a terrible press conference. It happens. Public speaking is really hard. I struggle with it. Like, I'm, I'm bad. It's just, it happens. It's amazing. 
it, it, when you're doing it in front of nobody there and you're just doing it in front of a camera, it's awkward and it's weird. <laughs> But I think he's going to be fine. What He's done a really good job of coaching up quarterbacks. I think that Eagles team needed a new breath of life after the Doug Peterson era just went kind of stale. I think he's going to be fine. He's going to take his lumps early. But I do think the Eagles fan base and media will eventually come to respect him. I mean, they, they like boo Santa, not the media. Um, <laughs> you know, this city is, they're, they're savage. It's man. rough. I'm a New Yorker. Okay. I get it. Um, I, if he wins, he'll be fine. I mean, that's the reality. You could be a weirdo and, and not have to talk. If you win, they're going to love you for it. There's a lot of, exactly. A lot of, look at Bill Belichick. Guys, and it's not like that division's all that great. No, it's not going to be that hard to win a division I, pretty quickly. It, it, we can't take too much from the press conference. I will say no. that. I didn't know this though. We got an in there. Interesting. Mm. Just saying, hold on to that. And speaking of which this will, yeah, depending on your next answer, we have a win. The win situation is blank. I don't know. <laughs> I, really I don't know don't. either. It's disgusting. I just, it's just, they're, they're in such a bad situation with Wentz. Uh, I don't think he can play anymore. He looks broken. And we've seen this, Adam, we've seen this from another quarterback in the 2016 class and Jared Goff. You know, these quarterbacks can have a lot of success and then one injury, one bad game, and they completely fall apart and they're never able to get back to that level. I think he's broken. And I don't know what the Eagles do because there's so much guaranteed money there. He's been benched now really twice for Jalen Hurts and yep. for Nick Foles. And then if you go back to North Dakota State, they won a championship without him starting. Like he got hurt and they still won. So this is uh, – it, it stinks for Carson Wentz, but I don't believe he's the future there. It, it, it's not great. It's bad. Uh, I'm being nice now that we have an in it with, uh, with the new Eagles coach. That's okay. Show. We're yeah. good. But, but I think everyone's going to think that they can fix him. Um, and I hope he can be fixed by the way. I want to see him play well. He was awesome for, for, it was like a comment uh, of awesomeness, but I still think with the money and everything else and salary cap issues, it's not great. And the last one talked about uh, Danny Amendola's quote, right? Tom Brady, the Patriot way, putting that on QB Tom, what would you say blank Amendola's quote? Love it. I, I, I do. I think, I think he's being honest. I think that Tom Brady is the way that that culture was built in new England and Bill Belichick is extremely hard to play for, but the players love playing for Brady. That's why he's able to convince a Rob Gronkowski to come out of retirement. He's able to convince an Antonio Brown to come down and play in Tampa Bay. I, I wasn't this way before Adam. I thought it was Belichick that created the culture in everything in new England, but I'm starting to believe it was way more Brady than Belichick. I'm with you. And I love it too. I, I think it's hard not to think that after this, look again, tortured Jets fan through and through tortured Jets fan. Uh, I have lost. Okay. And I wanted to see, um, I didn't expect to see Tom Brady do this. Well, I've embraced mm -hmm. it. I think it's amazing what he's doing. And the fact that he shows up on his zoom with Patrick Mahomes and he looks younger than Mahomes <laughs> now it's, it's, it's unlike anything I'll probably Incredible. ever see again in my life. Well, maybe LeBron James, we're seeing the same thing right now, but it really is amazing. So I, isn't I it, well, isn't that just like LeBron in which, I mean, obviously LeBron and Brady are fantastic, but they're the culture builders, right? They go to cities and players flock to play with them. And all of a sudden that's a winning culture, wherever it goes, whether it's Cleveland, Miami, and now the Lakers, I, I think the same thing is going to happen with Brady for not only this year, for future seasons, because I don't believe he's done this year, Adam. I think he's going to play quite a bit longer.